Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Ninja Turtle Talk. We're on episode 26. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date on everything that we post because we post things usually weekly. We we like to uh, like this video for us as well. First thing that we're going to jump into this week is our IG features, which we'll go we'll go ahead and go with mine first. This photo right here is of Donnie. It was posted for Peter Laird's birthday. Happy birthday, Peter Laird. Happy belated uh, birthday, Peter. Love it. Uh, thank you for uh, amazing part of our childhood. <laughs> but this is Donnie out on the farm. This is this is from Eval. Uh, that's just how I say it. Eval Kim, E V I L E, Kim thirty three. And this is uh, for Peter Laird. A happy birthday from Evil Kim thirty three. Man, that's a good that's a good shot. It looks just like the. It looks just like they pulled them right out of the movie. I've always said that, though. Absolutely. Uh, how the sun's shining on them, and it's so close up. And there's no telling where uh, this user took the photo. Looks like it's outside, but with all these photo tricks and things that these guys do, they're professional, basically, at this stuff, man. And we're happy to feature this guy on our YouTube channel. You can also follow him on Twitter. I think that's the same handle, Evil Kim. Evil Kim 33. I can check. Yeah, I can check that for us real quick. Yeah, it'll be Evil Kim 33 on Twitter as well. So you guys go give him a follow because he posts a lot of good stuff. Jimmy, what's your thoughts on this? I love it. I love the uh I love the little like piece of like wheat or grass sticking out of his mouth and stuff. That's, that's just a, a nice little <laughs> touch. Like um i figure this is probably um right after in that first movie like either right before or after uh donnie and casey are working on the uh truck yep. yeah, <laughs> and that's they're on the farm one, in that first movie and doing all that stuff so like that's where i saw this like happening and taking place but you're right of like time or day of like uh because the background's kind of like a little blurred out or whatever so you really yeah. don't know like what time of day or whatever it's taken but it is a great like still like shot from the movie so yeah it's a great one mm -hmm. i love it it's a uh, it's great wouldn't, photo. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be awesome if we could get a remake of the 1990 put them in the in the suits and all that you know i know how bad it was for the actors back then you know the stunt actors and stuff but it would be great for no more cgi and for a real movie That's what I, I it would be cool <laughs> It would be cool to see them get back into some big bulky suits and stuff. Like they do similar things with like the Hulk and everything. So like, come on, bring it back. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. So yeah, that's our that's my photo feature for the week. So let's move on to the battle damage shredder that dropped totally unexpectedly on the Walmart website. What was it last week? It sold out within five minutes. They removed the listing, so I'm assuming that it's a KC and April Farm two pack redo where it went up for pre-order everyone pre-ordered it then they canceled it and then it hit shelves like crazy now it's shelf warming um i want i i ordered one so my, my order hasn't been canceled yet hopefully it doesn't this shredder if you didn't know comes from the first issue of mirage which is my favorite issue of teenage mutant ninja turtles it is the rooftop scene i guess you could say scene where after the turtles beat the foot ninjas that's when the evil shredder attacks and <laughs> and basically you know he kind of shreds them apart right there in the beginning and if you if if we're, we're showing images right now if you haven't read it please just skip forward a little bit and we'll be done with this soon um but the grenade that the shredder has uh, as an accessory is also it's featured in the book and that's you know he they tell him to commit basically commit suicide and uh he don't want to go out like that so he takes that grenade out pulls the pin they knock him off the roof i believe and i don't have the comic on hand so it's been it's been a second since i read it but then you get that that armor that's right there on his arm that accessory that you get with the hand you know they're tossing it in the end walking away uh, they are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And, uh, it's great. What do you think about that? So, about that um, figure? I, uh, I 
I haven't read the first, I don't own like the first comic. I own everything hardcover of Mirage. I own it all. Uh, the, the original black and white uh, IDW re-released them in a hardcover when IDW got the uh, licensing mm-hmm. and all of that stuff for it and started doing like the current line in Last Ronin and everything. So like, I don't know, 12 years ago now, probably. <laughs> Uh, maybe yeah. even 15 i I'm mean like... idw has been yeah they've been running it for most of the 2000s they've been running the turtles i think honestly in 01 or 02 is where eastman and waltz and stuff relaunched the uh the current running uh tmnt mm-hmm. series for idw and oh, okay. i think part of like that and that might have been when nickelodeon took over that also might have been when peter lard sold off tmnt to Nickelodeon and Viacom and all of that as well. And that might be why IDW ended up with it. But beside the point, um, I, uh, I love the battle damage shredder because it's so reminiscent from like the movie, that first comic, that first issue is very much so like blown up and drawn out into that first movie. Like all of the important like beats and like uh, set pieces that you get from that first issue of Mirage is in that first movie. And now seeing, the mirage toys come along with like me loving the movie toys is really great right. um yeah, it's great. so it's exciting to get like more battle dan or more like another variant kind of figure in that because really the only way you were able to get the blue shredder before is if you got the loot crate so like yeah. now this is actually giving people a chance to have that like blue um shredder that they might have missed out on before because they didn't even know loot crate was a thing yeah they didn't even know it existed <laughs> that's great uh, a lot of people are talking about a series three hopefully you know I, i'll buy it regardless um yeah but that's what we got on that shredder man let's hope that those uh, orders don't get canceled if they do it's supposed to be a widespread release so just keep just just join the naked turtle layer on facebook i'll put the I'll put the link in the subscription of the video uh, let's move on to the second IG feature. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if it's IG, but his name's Ben Johnson in the NECA Turtle Lair. If you guys want to go join, y'all go join. Y'all give him a like, maybe comment or something like that. But this is the turtle, in the the disguised turtles in the pizza shop mm-hmm. <laughs> with all the guys sitting out there. Man, I love this one, bro. It's a great pick. This was, um, I mean, this was Ben's pick for this week. Um, and so like, uh, he couldn't join us for this picture right now, but, um, it like, this was a great call. Ben Johnson, also the guy who does the intro to all of our videos for the turtle layer and stuff. Yes. Love you, Ben. Uh, you, oh, you, do, yes. you do great work for us here where like he's in, uh, we love him. He does great stuff. And this, so this photo is really awesome to get as well. Like, um, it works. Mm-hmm. It's, basically like almost right out of like that that first season one of those first five episodes um because we see we see the turtles in disguise in disguise early early on in the uh in the series like they wear that pretty early on in that first season but we only get like the normal thugs in like that first episode before they all get like mutated and stuff in the animated series so this is really great to see um Mm -hmm. i just love it I, i like I love all of the little things. Like they've got the little cat there. They've got the spray paint can, the, uh, the boom box and everything in there. Um, it just works. It's just so funny. Um, I the love lighting, it. the lighting is great on this one. You can, you can tell that there's lights inside of the pizza shop, which is great because it shines out onto the figures and almost like a moonlight shining on their back, but you can still see the shadow from the window, which is, freaking awesome man i love this shot i love ben johnson appreciate you for everything that you do for the neck of turtle there uh we'll move on to our next topic of discussion this week and that is the last ronin the lost years man what a great comic awesome. we're, <laughs> we're not gonna spoil it here because yeah. it's only been out for a week it's only been out yeah, for a week yeah. so we're not gonna spoil it here but it is out Get it at your local comic shop. Um, I know, Lee, you were passing out uh, a link to... Mm-hmm. There we go. Is that your pen? Yeah, I was passing out. 
Yeah, this is my Ben Bishop case. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, yeah, I was passing out links in the neck of turtle lair for all the artists. We got a lot of artists that are actually members of the group and you can talk to them in the group. So if there's something specific that you want, these guys are awesome. They're cool. If they have the time, they will get back with you and and get you your personal print out. You know, I've grabbed mine uh, from the local comic shop, which isn't uh, any kind of super exclusive variant. I think it's a one in 25. Mm -hmm. So simple read, but I do have mine on the way from Ben Bishop. You guys go go to bishart.net, grab your watermark Lash Ronin comic book bookshelf case. And they also have one made for the lost years. They have, he has one up oh, there nice. for the lost years that will fit these comic books. Cause these, if, in case you didn't know, if you don't have it yet, these are a little bit smaller. These are normal comic book size compared to the last Ronin. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like a normal comic. Uh, loved it completely. For those who have read it in the comments, let us know what your favorite new turtle is that they came the new the new turtles let us know with the first letter of their name in the comments for us please mine is m mine starts with an m if anyone knows what i'm talking about so let us know in the comments bro do have you had a chance to read it i haven't read it all the way through yet i have it i have the uh the cover that kevin eastman did i am actually sitting down later today to read it i'm pretty stoked okay great yeah, so no more. You know, I won't I won't spoil anything else at all no more. But you come back here too, Jimmy, and you comment for us. Let us know your you know mm -hmm. what letter your favorite turtle begins with. Uh so we're gonna move on to our figure list. We haven't shared this. It's been out for a, pretty much like two months now. It's been out since December. So yeah. we're gonna go ahead and share it here now though. Uh we'll start with the smaller list which is the mirage the updated mirage list man there's so many so many things on here they actually put the adventure series they updated the adventure series and the last run in as well when they released it as you can see you got that shredder right there that we just went over mm -hmm. all four new mirage bros return to new york jimmy's favorite the triceraton you know, just a bunch of a bunch of great stuff. We got a, a new foot elite bot Sinja for the last Ronin. Uh, we got a picture. We got to see Donnie, Splinter, more close ups of Wrath and Leo, which is a great line, man. That last Ronin line. If you haven't jumped on it yet, make sure you hit those links in the in the subscription. You'll get ten percent off your last Ronin armored figure when you order through the Turtle Air links that I provide. So let's hope that we get a re-release of these elite guards. That would be great. The elite guard in red or maybe just in black and white would be cool too. Any any color that they're making, I would like those elite guards with the with the hats. You know, they remind me of of Luke Kane's brother on Mortal Kombat. I can't remember his name for shit. Yeah. Excuse my language, but yeah. Lee his name name might be I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, great list that they updated us with the shredder clones, all that, man. Uh, what you got on the tune on the tune side? So for the tune side, the thing that I'm looking forward to most is getting, um, is getting Rex one and getting, uh, getting my battle of the robots on. I'm really excited to start yes, having sir. Rex one, uh, face down against Chrome dome and stuff and uh start making some fun photos out of that like uh chrome dome was a excuse me i had him i took photos of chrome dome versus my uh mondo wolverine mm -hmm. and those were just fun toys to like play with and put up for like pictures and stuff so if anything i'm probably most looking forward to that it looked like we might have been getting a uh at one point, it looked like we might have been getting, and now this wasn't on the list in any way, shape, or form. This was in the background of one of the dioramas that they had at, like, New York Comic Con. But it looked like mm -hmm. we might be getting a Last Ronin, like, uh, Fred Wolf-like version. Yeah, Like, that would tune be... version at some point. Because, yeah. like, they very much so had, like, him hanging out in the background there. 
So no, if there's something cool. that we get like randomly, like that wasn't on a list yet, I want that tune last Ronin. Otherwise, I'd say I'm probably looking forward to um, either Rex One or su- or the superhero, super villain, Bebop, and Rocksteady. I'm looking yeah, forward that's to a, those guys. Those are, those, those are, that, that'll be yeah, a fun two pack. Oh yeah, those are great choices. Uh, we got to we got to watch uh, more stuff. Uh, more we got more in depth details with the Foosh and Trevor Zamet on uh, on their video that they posted. You guys make sure that you go check that out. That video's in this in the uh, in the layer. So if you want to check out that Foosh video, you can find it in the description of the video right here. I'm gonna put it in there. There's a, there's gonna be a few links in this video. Uh, I'm looking forward to that space Donnie. I don't know where he comes from, but I know I think I've seen a space Leo before in the cartoon. Uh, space figures are going to be cool, man. I hope they give us a whole variation of space adventure uh, action figures. We got the new gang down here. We got the new gang members. They're calling them short gangster, tall thug, mm-hmm. and the grunt, along with uh, Jersey Red. Those, those are going to be some good releases. I would say they're going to be in two packs because we already got the links for that. Mm-hmm. But we but what we do have here is we have the box art for the upcoming release of the Chikahachi and the Lotus two pack. Mm-hmm. So we'll throw that up right here. This is a found on eBay. A seller on eBay has got it up for bids. Probably gone by now. But that's the only one that I've seen. That's pretty cool, man. A pretty cool two pack. We have like we said, we have a lot to look forward to here in this year with the cartoon line. The turtle van should be releasing soon that everybody ordered. Mm-hmm. Um, the arcade list, not sure that it was updated too much this time. But if it was, we'll go over it eventually when they start releasing something else. I, I, I do love that we have a lot coming this year. But yeah, you guys take a look at that list. And we'll move on to Jimmy's photo feature of the week. What you got for us, bro? Okay. So for my photo, uh, it was submitted by Ryan Weber, who goes by uh, below below underscore C underscore level, below C level. Um, And uh, that's his IG. And this is great. You know what? If I'm being honest, this is just a picture of the turtles lining up getting ready to go into battle um and it's so cool it's just like so awesome it's the movie bros again so it's like of course you throw a movie bro like awesome picture out there i'm of course gonna love it as always the movie bro the movie toy toy line is like what got me into collecting the neck of turtles and everything so like um yeah it, it, it'll always hold a special place in my heart and like this i just thought was like a really cool like little diorama piece and stuff to it like they're just all lined up there you've got um you've got april in the background as well you got casey back there as well mm-hmm. like it really felt like almost a uh like a behind the scenes shot of them like uh of them basically blocking that's what you in movies and tv the way you set up a scene and where people like stand to have the camera look at them or light shine them on them on no. them it's called blocking so this oh, just looked like a behind the scenes of them blocking a battle shot and it just happens to have like april and casey in the background and stuff because like in that final battle scene or whatever april's not there um yeah. like on the rooftop <laughs> she's she's not there she's not on the rooftop with them at least in that sense huh. um but to be fair, Ryan did a really sweet thing when I reached out to him and I told him, I was like, hey, I want to like use your photo. And I asked him about his IG. He sent me actually the full the full photo as well, which I'll also put up here. And it's actually the Turtles versus Super Shredder. And it's really oh, okay. a great photo. Um, and so like, uh, it was really great. I really love this. Um, again, you put the movie bros up there. I'm, I'm in. I'm in all day, every day. Yeah, those are great, man. I love them. I love how Leo, I'm a Leo fan, so I love how Leo's looking down the line, making sure everybody's ready to go. Let's go. In that photo that you submitted, you can actually see that there is a super shredder, a little part of them right there, ready to rip some stuff up. Honestly, wish we had a longer scene in the Soto movie, but hey, we get what we got, I guess, and it is what it is. 
right. but hey that's all the time that we have for the week we appreciate everyone uh jimmy once again give us that ig below underscore c the letter c underscore level below c all right bet bet and we got it on the screen too you guys go follow them Make sure you join the NECA Turtle Lair. That's where you'll find me at all times. And that's all that we have for the day. Jimmy, let them know where we can find you at, man. You can find me at, at Triple C Collect on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and on our Facebook page. Right on. You can find me, as always, in the NECA Turtle Lair Facebook group. The link is in the description of the video. You can find me on Twitter, Ninja Turtle Lair and ig make sure you follow me on ig neca turtle lair we appreciate you guys for tuning in jimmy we'll see you next week bro later